Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Veronica. From Andronica English. And today... We are in the garden! <gasps> and what are we learning? Learning something we haven't learned yet. <gasps> what could it be? What could it be? That we haven't learned yet? We haven't learned yet? The present perfect? Present perfect! <gasps> So, Andrew, you know what? What? Students hate present perfect. Do they? Why? Yeah, I, I don't know. That's the best after reported speech and passive voice. So, I, so I've heard, yeah. Yeah, because I think they just cannot, uh, you know, distinguish between present perfect and past simple and mm. the other. So, I was thinking that maybe we could give some tips from the garden. Yeah, on present perfect? Yeah, and past simple. And so past we will simple. just, you know, compare and Are contrast. They They're quite similar. Really? You know why? why? Because you use present perfect and you use past simple to talk about... The past. The past. But why is it called present perfect? No one knows. Oh. It's called present perfect to confuse students. Ah. Because it's present but in the past. Yeah. And maybe in the future we will talk about the past which happened in the present. We should. Yeah. But I think it's called present perfect because uh, the period I'm talking about, so the time when it happened or maybe it's still happening, mm -hmm. um, it's still in progress. Oh. So the period of time is still in progress. Ah. If you have never been to Australia, it means that you might have an opportunity in the future so maybe this period of time is still open mm. so it can be changed in the future yeah. maybe so i can so go to australia yeah because future, maybe. you're talking about the life experience yes number one life experience your life is still happening ideally so i hope so <laughs> that's why we would say you have never been to australia but you have been to austria have you no Oh, I have <laughs> many times. <laughs> it's just I just wanted to say that we often confuse mix, yeah, we Austria and Austria, countries yeah, because yeah. Austria, Australia. I mixed them once. Yeah, but I remember that I haven't seen haven't I haven't seen koalas in Austria ever. Yeah. So yeah, it can't be Austria. I was on a road Can trip it? to Hungary and we travelled through Austria. I was like, what? We're in Australia. You have been. Hungary? <laughs> we travelled through Australia, I was so confused. I thought Australia was somewhere else. But, but you know Austria. what? It... You know what? It might be a good example for a question. So, Andrew, mm -hmm. have you ever been to Hungary? I have never been to Hungary. You have never been to Hungary? I haven't. So now you can see that we had three examples. One affirmative, affirmative sentence, positive sentence, a negative sentence, and also a question. So that's how we form a question, affirmative sentence, and a negative sentence in present perfect. Great, let's review. So how do we do an affirmative sentence? One, we have the subject, yeah. right? So I, mm -hmm. two, we'll use have or has, because if we talk about someone in the third person, mm -hmm singular third person would use has but in this case because i'm talking about myself it will be have after that we will use the verb in which form verb, so verb three. Yeah, yeah past participle yeah. verb three would be and then you can use object um, adverbs whatever you mm -hmm. want to use but these three elements are always there in a sentence good subject have or has and verb three. Excellent. I have been to Austria. Ah, right? I have never been to Austria. I know, you have never been to Austria. And you make negative sentence with ah, this the is a negative same, sentence, yeah, right? same order. Negative we change sentences. only one small thing. We would just I add a not word. And ah. it would mean I have not been but usually we just say I haven't been or again if we talk about a third person it would be she hasn't he hasn't been to Austria can you believe that I hasn't hasn't you no 
wrong. Oh. Haven't. Oh, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. No, I haven't. Right, and the question, because no one likes questions, but sometimes we have to ask them. Have you ever been to Austria? Very good. So in this case, we do what? We swap the, swap. the, swap. the, the subject and the have. Yeah, and it will be have you. Of course, I wouldn't ask myself. Have I? Well, I could ask. Have, have I, I ever, ever been, been to Austria? Austria? Hmm. And he would say, because he hasn't been to Austria, no, I haven't. I would say, yes, I have. Mm -hmm. So simple, isn't it? We should call it present perfect simple. Oh, oh. no, that's how we call it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> because it's so simple, isn't it's it? Sim it's almost as simple as the present simple. So it's not that simple because we have to use the third form, the the verb PP, three, yeah, <laughs> the past, the past, past participle of the verb. So mm -hmm. it's not that simple, but it's quite simple. So let's just see. Just learn your PPs and then you'll know how to do it. <laughs> just see uh, the options, when and where to use present perfect, because we use it all the time, everywhere. It's everywhere, on the corner, on the side streets, just like spring. And That's just around the corner. Yeah. It's here. <laughs> It's on the corner, on the table, on the desk. Even if you have never noticed, it's always, it's there. always there. Why do we need it? So that was the first one. When you talk about experiences in your life. Mm -hmm. How else do we use it? Well, you know, I mentioned that we are still in the time. We are mm -hmm. still in the period of time I'm talking about. So I can say I have been out three times this week. Have you? Because this week is still on, so I can say that. Yeah, still going on. And I can say that I, have, I haven't eaten anything today. Haven't you? That's why I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but that might be a very good example. I'm hungry because I haven't eaten anything today, which would mm. mean that something happened in the past, still past, even if it's present. And then a consequence happened in the present. Yeah, it has an <sighs> effect. The consequence can be seen, can be um, noticed. So for example, um, I can't walk today because I have broken my leg. You know what? And there it makes sense why we call it present perfect. Because when we have a sentence, we have an event in the past, but could be in the present because it's just so on the border. Mm. We would say, I have just eaten a sandwich. Now decide, is it in the present or in the past? Past. And the present as well, because it has it? just happened. It's in the past, but it has just happened. Oh. So when you use just, it will it's the probably, immediate past. yes, it will probably be present perfect as yeah. well. And you know, we have lots of adverbs. So we? these were, <laughs> these, what? Do we? Yeah. Wow, tell me them. <laughs> like already, isn't it an adverb? Yeah. Yeah, so we, we have lots of adverbs that are usually used with present perfect yeah. as well. So I have, already, I have already eaten lunch. Yes, you have already eaten lunch, which doesn't make any sense. It's just you want to emphasize. Yeah. I have already. Yeah, that's what I adverbs don't do, right? They yeah. emphasize stuff. Mm, yeah. Give extra some... information to the verbs and whatnot. Yes, but if you say I have eaten, what did you say? I've already eaten lunch. I've eaten lunch. That means you have already eaten lunch. Yeah. So the meaning is the same. But if you say I haven't eaten lunch yet. Oh. Which means you haven't eaten lunch, but you are Intend to. planning yeah. to eat some lunch. So already, yet, just, tell me a sentence with still, because I'm still waiting for your sentence. Lunch still hasn't arrived. <laughs> so, yeah. Is it true that we use yet only in negative and question? It's because true. You, when you say, I have eaten lunch yet, doesn't make any sense. You would use oh, already. Yeah. But if you ask a question, have you had lunch yet? I have had lunch already. I have already. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I have already had lunch. <laughs> right. Okay. That's good. Okay. So we had uh, adverbs and uh, lots of information where and how and why we use present perfect. But you know what? What? Students are always confused because of for and since. Oh. Why? Because in some cases they want to use for where they should use since oh. and other way around. So Makes sense. We just we try to remember when to use for. And when to use since. Yeah. Like so I have been confused about this since seven years. That would be good guess but <coughs> wrong. Oh. No. That's what students would usually yeah. say, but it would be for seven years for because seven years. we talk about a period of time. With four. Four. Ah. But if you want to date back, yeah. is it date back? Yeah. If, if, if you want to date, date, yeah, a specific date, a specific um, time, time when uh, it happened. Yeah, you would just started. Okay, so it would be since. So if you said four seven years, how you could you? Time. Yes, yeah. it would be. How could you rewrite? rephrase this sentence with since. since. I have been confused with this since 2014. 2014. That's right. Okay. Can I say I haven't eaten a good barbecue since yesterday. Yes. I haven't eaten KFC for a week. I haven't eaten a good cheeseburger for a week. Or more. Mm. Wow. Also, if you don't know how much time has passed, what can you say? You can say for a while. For a while, yeah. Or for ages. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen you for ages. Yeah. I, I haven't been to the supermarket. Australia. <laughs> Austria. I yeah. haven't been to the supermarket for ages. For ages? Yeah. How, how many ages? I don't know. How long is One an age? ages, Th two about ages, about three ages. So, yeah, basically that's why we need present perfect. And you can tell that we use it. Oh, there's another one. Is it? For example, mm -hmm. if something happened in the past, but so yep. as we don't specify the time when it happened, we would use which one, present perfect or past simple? Past simple. Good guess, but... Really? Yes. Is it present perfect? If we know when it happened, or if we, ta if we say when it happened, it would be past simple, right? Mm. But if we don't, I just say, I have been to Morocco. But if you don't say when, wow. you, <laughs> you would use present perfect. Ah. But if we talk about the time as well. If we, we specify when it happened, it will be past simple. Oh, like I went to Morocco in 2014. Yes, exactly. So that's the, the, the biggest difference between past simple oh. and present perfect. Or I haven't been to Morocco since 2014. You could say that, right? Yes, you can say that. Yeah, that'd yeah. be fun. Yeah. So when I ask you, have you been to the cinema this week? You would say, yes, I have. No, I haven't because they're not open. Okay. Have, have you, have you had coffee today? Yes, I have. How was it? It was delicious. Was it? So you can see that we just switched to past simple. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So when it becomes specific, we will use past simple. simple. Wow. So from the time we will use past simple. Yeah. Oh, so easy, cool. isn't it? Past yeah. simple. That's simple and present perfect. Simple, so simple. So simple. It's the simple rules. I just want to invite you to a game, kind of game. Could you tell me the difference between two sentences which are perfectly grammatically correct, but still they are in present perfect and past simple? So let's just see. Mm -hmm. I have written 10 letters this morning. Or, if I say, I wrote 10 letters this morning. We give you three seconds to think about your answer. Three, two, one. 
Andrew, tell me, if I say I have written 10 letters this morning, what does it mean? It means this morning you have written 10 letters. <laughs> yes. But why, why can two different sentences still be correct? Well, that's a good question. The answer is the time when you say that. Mm. So if you say this morning you have written 10 letters this morning, it means it's still morning. And if you say I wrote 10 letters this morning, it means let's say it's afternoon now, yeah. evening, night. And we're talking about what you did today. Yes, so I wrote it, 10 letters this morning. It finished. So, you know, if you are still in the period of time I'm talking about, it would be present perfect without specifying the time. And if you are not there anymore, for example, you talk about this morning, you talk about last year, you talk about yesterday, which is already gone. You know, it's well, in the past. Obviously, it was yesterday. <laughs> it will be past simple. Isn't it just so simple? Fascinating. Mind-blowing, you know. Yeah. So now, guys, you shouldn't hate present perfect. You should start using it correctly. Every day, yeah. I have used present perfect every day for the past seven years. Yeah, I have used present perfect for ages. Okay, I have had fun. Me too. And I learned I how to use the present perfect simple. Present perfect simple and past simple. Yeah. Simple. So simple. So. So okay. make sure you like and subscribe. If you haven't yet. <laughs> to make sure you get notified for when we upload further videos. We have uploaded lots of videos. We have. We have uploaded lots of videos so far. So we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> see you later, alligator.